most people I, I know are not actually very optimistic. They're rather pessimistic about things, about the future. Um, and um, there's, of course, good reason to be pessimistic if you want to look at things in a certain way. But I find for myself that I'm actually quite optimistic. Not because I claim to know what the future is going to bring, uh, which I certainly do not. However, um, I have what I call my happiest thought. And uh, my happiest thought is that a certain conjecture made almost 100 years ago by a science fiction writer um, could actually happen. And uh, basically, I would like to share uh, that happiest thought with you. So um, <clears throat> Einstein had his happiest thought. There we go. Um, now, let's see if this thing works. Ah, there's Einstein. Now, we're not going to go into the details as much as I would like to. Those of you with the physics background uh, know that it was the, oh, by the way, my happiest thought content-wise has nothing to do with this. But I just like the <laughs> phrase, happiest thought, my happiest thought. So there's Einstein, very happy. Um, when he realized that accelerating frames and gravitational fields are physics-wise uh, <clears throat> indistinguishable, that was a huge conceptual break, uh, breakthrough that allowed him to develop uh, general uh, relativity. Um, <clears throat> so here's my happiest thought. Um, my happiest thought is that, um, that science and uh, contemplative disciplines in general, and specifically Buddhism as the most systematic of the contemplative disciplines, that these two worlds could cross-fertilize and give rise to um, something that would uh, relatively rapidly uh, and dramatically elevate uh, global levels of uh, human well-being. 